Hello everybody, here we are again and this time we're looking at the uh, Hobby 2000s reboxing of the I believe a Hasegawa um, kit for the P51B so it's the beak, it's got a high back and the uh, bubble canopy like that and the fact that it says so <laughs> um, since they're when operated by the uh, Polish pilots in the RAF, as denoted by the, the Polish emblem. This one on the box is PKG. And uh, inside you've got this nice clear colour instruction booklet. And uh, we'll just go down a bit for that. That's a vertical panning shot, you could call it. As you can see there, you got painted mask set, uh, which is this little black vinyl. As you can see, on, it's it's, uh, it's cut out. It is. You can. You, there's the. Uh, I don't know if you can make out with the uh, stickers. Sure, but anyway, won't linger too long on there because those who know about vinyl masks, masks, no. What it is stop you painting over the canopy the cartograph uh, call uh, made decals there's two different versions there there's a, at least three different versions they're nice and clear as you'd expect from cartograph and three versions there you got one by in Andrews field March 45 one in I can't these are these are Polish pilots so you, you beg my pardon and uh, beg my forgiveness for me not trying to pronounce them I wouldn't try to pronounce them because I'd probably make it sound terrible but uh, yeah these three different versions Coolham and Andersfield three two different sites they flew from Anyway, you did come here for a history lesson. Just wanted to see what the kit looks like, don't we? So there we go, they got the uh, interior there, standard for P51. Stick it on, as usual. Two sides cockpit. Separate uh, exhaust pipes. Now the uh, three bar wings. Very, very standard. And as I can say, this is, I believe, the Hasegawa kit reboxed four blade propeller, which you put the propellers on yourself. So you've got the option there to uh, alter the pitch of the propeller, so if you so wish. And the canopy there. Again, with with building kits, you got the options of different parts. Um, you could put them in a different order if you want. I mean, you can put the canopy on there, and then then the wheels, or Kind of, there's different things back to front, you know. I'm trying to say you don't have to follow the instructions uh, strictly because you do it whatever's uh, going to be the most convenient way for yourself, isn't it? You're the builder of the model. Not an anarchist, but uh, I'm also not just following every instruction to the letter when it comes to building. And here we go, we've got some photographs of the uh, gentleman involved. They're little brave men. Oh, they're not little at all, that's just a wrong thing to say. Brave men. Fighting. I thought they did have a country to fight in. They still kept fighting, which is very brave of them. Some people wouldn't. Here's the kit itself. Now, the only criticism I got of this kit is the Hasegawa kit. Is the wings have got a bit of a. Get out of the way, still somewhere else. A bit of an extra. As you can see that on there. For an extra, the shape of the top of the wing is a bit sort of curved in a uh, reverse curve there, which I haven't noticed on real planes, and I've only noticed on Hasegawa kits. So the one for the P51D 50, 50, uh, jumping jacks, I've got a kit of. It's got the same wing shape on the top there, but otherwise it's a standard kit. Nice recessed panel lines and 
fairly good detail. You got uh, the radio there. I'm trying to get into the background that they focus on. Obviously, you got a different canopy with this kit than the other ones because it's a, I think it's a B model. It's got the <coughs> Rolls Royce engine in it. Uh, that's the old sprue for the wings, but I've taken them off. So I wanted to see how they fit. And then you've got the very small parts there, nice details, strong enough uh, wheel wheels there and main wheels, doors, various parts. Not a complicated kit by any means, but uh, everything's there that you want it to be there. The shadow of the kit there, oh, shadowy kit. Right, that's it. That's it, I should say, not, not half it. That's it. My pronunciations can be a bit colloquialisms sometimes. The Welsh accent does pro very Welsh, isn't it? Sometimes. Right, I won't make fun of my own country anymore. I'm going to stop there and uh, bid you all a good day because that's the end of the kit. Look at. Thank you for watching and thank you for keeping watching too. Um, I will be doing just kits eventually. I'll show you other things and full builds and progress reports and things. But uh, for now, thanks very much for a half minutes of watching. Bye bye.